Hey, fourth graders, it's me, Mrs. Miller. Happy Friday, we made it. Good job, you guys made it through one week of online learning. That is so exciting and I'm really proud of you guys. I had such a great time looking at your flip grids and your responses and your leprechaun traps and everything and I just wanted you guys to know I miss you so much. I love you so much and we're gonna get through this together, okay? Pat yourself on the back for a really great first week. Let's go ahead and get started with our prayer, and then I will share with you guys an idiom for the day, and then I will show you our schedule, okay? So let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear God, it's hard to obey, especially when it seems like everyone can make rules except us. What would it be like without rules? If everyone did whatever they wanted, the world would be a scary place. You taught us the laws of love to help us do our best. Rules at home help us play safely, get rest, and live neatly. Rules in our classroom help us create peace and order. Thank you for the rules that show your love for us. Help those in charge to make rules that are best for us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, our next theme of the week is a really interesting one, and it has to do with Lent, but I also think it might relate to some of us right now because we are kind of going through a tough time. Next week's theme for prayer is suffering. Okay, so we're going to remember Jesus and his suffering when we pray next week. All right, for our idiom of the day, we are looking at... So our idiom is going to be to pull the wool over your eyes. So our idiom of the day is pull the wool over your eyes. Here's a sentence. Lynn tried to pull the wool over her eyes by saying that Mrs. Jarvis's dog had eaten her homework. Lynn tried to pull the wool over her eyes by saying that Mrs. Jarvis's dog had eaten her homework. So the meaning of pull the wool over your eyes is to try to fool or trick someone. So here is the origin and it's pretty funny. In 19th century Europe, many men wore wigs made out of wool. In British courts today, some lawyers and judges still wear them. Have you guys ever seen anyone wear like, a, like those fancy wool wigs? That's what they're talking about. If you pulled the wig over a person's eyes, he or she couldn't see what was happening and could be easily tricked. It was said that if a clever lawyer fooled a judge, he was pulling the wool over the judge's eyes. Now we use this expression to describe any act of cheating or trickery. So... I better not hear about you guys pulling wool over anybody's eyes at home, but it is good to know that idiom for when you're reading. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our schedule for the day. Hey, fourth graders, it's Friday. Let's go ahead and look at our schedule for the day. So morning meeting, I would love for you guys to fill out a check-in for the week. So attached to Google Classroom is a Google form. So it's a purple looking document and it is just to check in to see how you guys are doing, um, how this week went for you, any feedback that you have for me. Um, so please go ahead and do that survey first thing this morning. And then there's also a second part to your morning meeting assignment question of the day. And that is to go on to a website called Calendly. It is a calendar type website that allows you to sign up for a weekly check-in on Zoom with me. So you will pick one day and one time a week that you and I will check in and it will automatically save it with the Zoom link to your Google Calendar. So please give that a try. I've never used that website before, so I'm really hoping it works. But again, your Question of the day, your assignment of the day is to do the end of the week check-in and sign up on Calendly. Please let me know if that is not working for you, okay? 
After that, we have math. My walk to math class is working on estimating quotients. Please start math class by watching the teaching video and then go ahead and do problem solving workbook page 44, homework practice notebook page 58, and then go ahead and go on freckle or use flashcards to practice your multiplication facts. We really don't want to be forgetting those, so please take time to do some extra practice. After math, we have reading, so please just make sure that you have all of your unfinished work completed. That means you're doing chapter two and chapter three index cards. They need to be written out and colored. If you don't have your five sentence summary or you weren't with us on our class Zoom call, go back on Google Docs and look for the Jackie and me chapter summaries and all of them are gonna be saved right there, okay? At 10.30 this morning, we are going to have a Quizlet Live. So that is a Quizlet Live game for our building vocabulary words. If you are available at 10.30 a.m., I'm going to link the Quizlet website and I will share our code and you guys can play Quizlet Live with each other at the same time. And I will be there as well. So please join us for Quizlet Live at 10.30. Next, we have religion. Please watch the unit one review video where I am grading the work from Monday. So open back up your religion book. You're going to the unit one review and you're grading your work. Please do that and have your parent let me know how you did. In art, Mrs. McCarthy has shared with you guys a leprechaun drawing video. So go ahead and get your pens and your papers out and create a very fun leprechaun video. And if you'd like, you can email it to Mrs. McCarthy when you're done or send it to me. I would love to see it. Last is something that we've never done before, but it's kind of like pickle and ketchup time. I'm calling it community time. I miss you guys so much and I want to see your faces and I want you to be able to see each other. So every Friday we're going to have community time at two o'clock in the afternoon where you can hop on our Zoom call and as a class we can hang out. The theme for this week, our very first community time Zoom call is going to be show and tell. So have something from your house or your backyard or from your playroom or anything that you want to show your classmates and we will go through the call one by one and you guys will get to share. Of course, if you'd like to share a family member or a pet, you are also welcome to do that. I will probably share Moby as my show and tell. All right, fourth graders, I miss you and I love you and I hope that you have a great weekend. Uh, hopefully I see you at two o'clock for our Zoom call for community, but if not, have a great weekend and I will see you on Monday.